Now time for a very important message. What the heck is this? 68% of you just use me. It doesn't even cost you anything. Bloody subscribe. It costs you nothing. And it could, it could show my wife that I'm actually doing something worthwhile. Stop calling Retarded. me. Retarded. Retarded. That's what you call somebody with no brain cells. A retard. I want this relationship to continue, so bloody subscribe, please. I loved the Crux 35 and the way it flew. I just thought the frame was terrible and the design and everything, but it flew nice. So I designed the discus and it took me down this long journey of kind of taking cheap bind and flies and being able to transfer them over to a frame that makes them more premium. I took the Draknite, I tore it apart, and I put it on my frame called the Whisper. I'm carrying a GoPro with it to do some really cool stuff. I've been messing around with propellers. Also comparing M Mobula X12 versus the HGLRC one. And I, I have a feeling I like the Mobula X12 more, but I like the Draknite motors more. It's awesome. It's just, it's not an easy drone to build. It's finicky. I like puzzles. I don't like puzzles. I like turtles. I like trying to like solve problems and like figure out like the tightest way of doing something. And I, I found, I found a way to get the GoPro on a tiny drone and have it balanced and have it fly well and everything. And it's pretty amazing. But to assemble it, <laughs> The, the camera has to go through the bottom and the screws are funny and it's just, you have to hit it at all sorts of weird angles to be able to, to build it and assemble it and stuff. And I thought about selling it as a kit so that you could build it. But the thing is that I can just see people buying this and getting frustrated and getting angry and calling me bad names because it, it's a nightmare. It really is a nightmare. And I've been working on this for the past like week. I did it before and it was fine, but then I wanted to take it to the next level. There's a material called TP, polypropylene or something like that, and it's lighter than TPU. So I got this thing down to 89 grams. It, it, it's sick. I'm going to be using this from now on in my indoor shoots. <laughs> have a spare so I can kind of like if anything goes wrong or it cracks or anything I can transfer the camera over it's a pretty easy transfer and I got my two little cinematic rigs and I, and I absolutely love them they're for me I don't I don't really think they're for you I'm a little bit torn on it because I wanted to be able to kind of like make something I could sell to people but it's not I'm gonna be selling these though if you want one of these uh, GoPro mounts i think like 20 bucks if you buy a naked case from nameless rc they are 20 dollars and they are inferior like this this it's a good case it works even though it looks like it's it's like fragile or whatever it takes a hit if you are looking for something to buy don't look at this <laughs> i'll sell it to you if you want but it's just you're, you're gonna have problems if you're a sick person that wants to have problems and sure otherwise the discus is the way this is the way to go man the discus is the best it's just the best sub 250 drone it takes a beating it flies like a beauty I just get a discus don't even bother with those at the end of the video i'm gonna link the videos assembling it putting it together and everything so that you can see what goes into building one you can build one in about an hour